Hello boys and girls, we are on day two of Animals Tools for Survival by Sue Quinn. And before we begin, we are going to specifically be looking for vocabulary words or any words you don't know. We're just going to circle those. And then after that, we are going to try to identify clue words that help us make comparisons or contrast to two items. These words are words like, unlike, while, different, and same. And we are going to underline those. As you can see, I've already began this process. It's in blue. And I recommend that you use multiple colors for days so that you can um, differentiate what you're looking at. So let's begin. Please read along with me. Animals, tools for survival. Animals are classified as mammals, amphibians, birds, fish, and reptiles. Classification is based on shared physical characteristics. For instance, reptiles such as snakes are covered with scales. The scales cover the skin and help protect snakes when they are crawling on rough or hot surfaces. All animals have adapted to where they live. They have special body parts that help them survive, such as webbed feet, sharp claws, large beaks, and long tails. And you'll notice that I circled physical characteristics, adapted, survive, but there are a couple more in there. If you can, try to figure out what those are. Webbed feet. Ducks and polar bears are born with webbed feet. They have skin or webbing stretched between their toes. This webbing allows the feet to paddle the body through water and ease. It helps animals save energy too. And if you recall, we worked last time on Monday on forming a mental image. So this mental image of a paddling, someone paddling a boat. Webbed feet help different animals in different ways. Polar bears use webbed feet to swim faster. Flying frogs use webbed feet to glide through the air. Sharp claws. A claw is a body part at the end of an animal's toe. Claws are different from nails. Claws have sharp points. Claws have many uses, like webbed feet. They help animals move faster. Unlike webbed feet, they also help animals climb and hang in trees. And you'll notice that I underline these words like and unlike. And I wrote about it. Comparison. The word like means you're comparing. So claws and web feet have many uses. That's how they are like. Contrast, unlike. Claws are for climbing while web feet are not. You will also see this word different. I want you to tell me what that tells me. As we move on to the next page, we're going to begin with large beaks. A large, a beak is the hard outer part of a bird's mouth. Some birds, such as herons and pelicans, use their large beaks to catch fish. Others, such as macaws and toucans, use them to reach hard to get food. Long tails. A long tail helps cats and other animals keep their bodies balanced. It can also work like a rudder on a boat and help them steer. Other animals use their long tails like an extra hand to grab onto things or swat at an insect. Some monkeys use their tails to swing in trees. On land, in water, or high up in trees, each animal's adapted body parts help it survive. You will notice that in the margins I have annotated for the word catch, because when I hear the word catch, I imagine like a baseball catch.
catcher, catching something in its mitt. When I see the word balance, I think of a balance beam and how you have to stand precariously on it. You'll notice that I circled two vocabulary words that we had from last week. Let's continue reading. The Remarkable Teeth of a Shark by Ben Chatton. Sharks are found in every ocean of the world, far and wide. There are more than 400 species or kinds of sharks. They differ in how they look and live and in what they eat. However, most sharks are carnivores feeding on fish and other marine animals and their teeth are perfectly adapted for the job. Sharks are born with a full set of teeth arranged in rows. In some sharks, these add up to 3,000 teeth. Most sharks don't chew their food like we do. They tear food into pieces that they can gulp down. The front row has the largest teeth, which do most of the work. When one tooth falls out, a tooth from the row behind it moves forward to replace it. A new tooth then forms to replace the one that moved forward. A shark constantly loses old teeth and gets new ones, as many as 20,000 in its lifetime. The size and shape of a shark's teeth depends on what it eats. Great right sharks have sharp, wide teeth with saw-like edges. With these teeth, they can catch prey and tear it apart. Mako sharks have thin, sharp teeth like knives that allow them to hold on to slippery fish. Sharks that roam the ocean floor, like the zebra shark, eat shellfish. These teeth are thick and flat to crush their prey's shell. Now, you will notice as we read, I once again picked out the word carnivores. That's one of our vocabulary words. And I saw this word differ. Differ means it's going to make a contrast between two things. So I want you to tell me the contrast over in the margin and I want you to see if you notice any of those other clue words. These clue words include like, unlike, while, different, and same. Maybe you might find another clue word that will allow you to compare or contrast.